fans of NK Maribor were shocked today when they found out that Tillin Klemcic, their star centre-back, had been injured on international duty representing Slovenia. The player has come back with a damaged spine and could face up to seven months out, which would completely disrupt the season. It's not sure how the club will react, but all we know is cultured left foot is incredibly disjointed with the international representation. The club will look to set up on an even footing, and with big games against Man City on the horizon, they do not know how the club will fare. Hello everybody and welcome back to the NK Marable Save, episode 26, if I remember rightly. You think I'd know what episode I was on as it's my series. But anyway, we'll crack on. Disaster has struck. Tim Klimcic was injured on international duty for Slovenia in their game against Cyprus. And it was a bad one. Yeah, there it is. So back in 12th of October, we're now on the 5th of November bit of news came in saying uh, he's got a damaged spine he's going to be out between anywhere between two to seven months and I was like oh my god what the crap am I going to do because he's our star centre back the transfer window shut not much I could do he is still injured um, unfortunately he's missed both games against Man City we'll come on to the schedule in a minute he's going to miss today's game against Man City it's pretty bad. There he is. So he's still got four to five weeks out with the damaged spine. They think it could come back as well. Yeah, it's um, not brilliant. It's not brilliant because he has been absolutely immense for us since we've signed him. All well, all that time ago for one and a half million, he's been absolutely immense. But looking at the schedule, we were together for a 2-2 draw against Fiorentina. We played Gorisa and we won 6-0. That was pretty pretty easy. Zan Selar getting a hat-trick. Sohovic getting two and Christopher Barman getting one. Um, we then played Crisco and Franco Lopez got a brace, which was very good of him as we rested Zahovic because those games were... Um, no, so we rested Zahovic for the Man City game, which he scored in, but we lost 5-1. Aguero got a hat-trick, they ran riot. I was probably a little bit too attacking, which is why we're going to have a slight tinker to the formation today. Responded really well though, we played Radamil and... or Radamil, I still can't pronounce that properly. Uh, we won 3 0. Janza, Barman, and Bade getting on the score sheet. Uh, and then we played Domzali and won 2 1 and got revenge for the cup where they knocked us out with Sintas out and Zahovic getting a goal. Today we play Man City and hopefully we'll fit the Zenit game in as well. If we win the Zenit game, I'm pretty sure we should qualify from the group because Fiorentina will. Well, it, well, I suppose it depends on today's game between Zenit and Fiorentina, which we'll have to find out to see how it goes. Other than that. There isn't too much else to catch up on. So I think I'll just see you at the game. Oh, there's only one other thing. This is apparently a sellout, our first sellout of the season, which is very good. We had about just over 10,000 fans in for the Fiorentina game. This is going to be 12,000 something or other sellout um, for the Man City game. But we'll have to clarify that at half time when we get the attendance. So yeah, I'll see you at the game day. Okay, welcome back. So this is how we line up. You'll notice that I've moved from one side to the other on the screen, just so I can show you the formation. What we've gone with is Kasper Schmeichel in goal, Pausic, Karic, Kavcic and Janza are a back four. The wing backs have now dropped onto support, not onto attack. Bakic and Takax come in as the holding midfielders. One's a deep line playmaker and defend, one's a half back to still try and help out with the defence. Bradley, Dak, Barman and Williams stay as the centre midfield three and Zahovic is up front on his own. We've changed some of the instructions, so our players aren't going to bomb on looking for an overlap. We're not going to be looking to push forward too much. We're playing much more direct football. We're not going to try and retain the possession. And we're playing a slightly lower temper and keeping it all quite narrow and focusing down the middle. Everybody got that? Brilliant. They line up in a 4-4-2 and it's amazing, as per usual. Aguero and Barbosa up front. Griezmann, Gundogan, Deli Alli and Carrasco in one of the best midfield fours I think I've ever seen. Alaba, Laporta, Stones and Cancelo and then Hart in goal. So here we go then with the kickoff. We are on defensive, we're structured, we're putting men behind the ball. It's totally a change of, well, theory of how I usually like to play. So let's see how it works out. I'm not expecting us to do 
wonders, but if we can get anything out of this game, it would be a miracle with the team they've got. And we're passing it around really well. And Zahovic is in and we're 1-0 up. Bloody hell, people. What is going on here? 25th goal of the season for Zahovic. And can you believe it? We're 1-0 up against Man City. Lovely, intricate passing. I mean, Man City absolutely ripped to shreds. I think, I imagine it will be because we've changed our formation so much. They'll have no idea how to play against this and how to set it up. I'll just set them myself. So hopefully we can... Um, good save from Casper. Keeping out Aguero. That's what we like to see. Griezmann with another corner then. Swings it in. Gundogan flicked on, but it's cleared away half-heartedly. Laporte, that's it, Palsic. Just get your foot through it. Griezmann with another corner in. Zahovic at the near post. It's fallen to Laporte. Carrasco, Schmeichel again with another save. It is a back against the walls job as we just try and find the Zenit result. It's 1 0 Fiorentina, so it's interesting in the group at the moment. Deli Alley on the edge of the area. Griezmann. Gabriel Barbosa. There it is. 1 0. There's no way we were going to hold out for however many minutes it was. But Deli Alley here. Spins. Nice little ball out back to Griezmann. He picks out Barbosa at the near post. First time finish. Oh, it's deflected under Schmeichel. So unlucky for the goalkeeper because he has been keeping us in it. Yanza with a throw into Barman. Bakic up to Dak. Williams to Zahovic. This is good football again, but Zahovic has lost out to John Stones. And Alaba up the line to Griezmann. Good long ball out to Carrasco. Aguero, Gabriel Barbosa. They're showing their class, Man City, but it's an easy catch for Peter, uh, Peter Schmeichel. I've got to stop doing that. Kasper Schmeichel. Um, but Barman hasn't got a first touch on him that was easy enough to control that. Carrasco gets round his player. Griezmann's there, and it's a tap-in from two yards. And Man City have turned on the style, and that's relegated us to the bottom of the group, which means I think Zenit have got an equaliser, but it's an easy tap-in for Griezmann. Schmeichel's unlucky, he makes a good effort, but Man City have decided to turn it on and have ripped us apart. Now... This is where it comes down to it, in the sense that we're losing, we've got a score. Does it really matter how much we lose by? Shall I just go for it? Sort of thinking, you know, we get two people up front, we go back to how this formation was meant to be used. Backage is going to come off for Zancella. Let's get a local, a local boy up top, Poacher. Let's get these guys flying up the wing again. I mean, it could go horribly wrong for us, this. If we want to play our normal line, our lower tempo, we'll play it Ooh, balanced. Short pass in, retain the possession, play out of the defence, work the ball in the box, look for the overlap. Um, and we'll sit on counter. It wasn't much lower, sorry, normal when we were on counter. And, yeah, let's go from there. Let's tell the boys to get stuck in as well. Let's hurt them. If we can't beat them, let's hurt them. It's a terrible way. To, oh, and we need to go to fluid. It's a terrible way to play football if you can't beat them, hurt them. But it's Man City, and I don't like Man City, so... That's what we're going to do. But again, we've started the second half well from kickoff here. I know nothing's going to happen, so there we go. Schmeichel then plays it short to Yanza. Yanza infield to Williams. Williams brings it forward over to Dak. Dak over the halfway line to Zahovic. Zahovic is fouled by Laporte. Let's have a red card. Why not? It'll be fun. He'll mix it up a bit, ref. And he has sent him off. I don't know what, a two-footed lunge. So he's been sent off. We are a man up, and they've brought Vincent Company on. And let's see what that does to the game. They've reduced themselves with a man in midfield, so hopefully we can take advantage of that. And a shot is blocked from Aguero by Carrick. He's done well. Zenit are now winning 2-1. So we have our bottom of the group on goal difference. So maybe I shouldn't really go for this all out. Well out, Kavcic there. Zahovic picks it up. What can he do? He brings it forward, cuts inside. Can he beat John Stones? He can. Zahovic, he's still going. What a run from the forward. And he picks out to Kax. Good save from Joe Hart. Zahovic with a wonderful run there. Bradley Dak. Took axe at the back post, but it's an easy catch for Hart as no one was putting him under pressure. Good signs, though. Good signs. Just under 20 minutes to go. Yanda's going to come off for Trajovski because he's not playing very well. Carriage again, isn't having a brilliant game, but I'm not bringing on Primek because he's not very good. Um, Zan Selar, the homegrown lad, isn't doing brilliant, to be honest. Yeah, I could bring Franco Lopez on him in field. Christopher Barman is a bit tired. Bradley Dax only coming, just coming back from injury. So we'll put Lopez in centre midfield and attack. Bring a bit of flair. South American flair. Let's see what he can do. Gundogan with a free kick in. It's picked off well by Trukovsky. Selar. Zahovic is one on one. He's put in Franco Lopez with his South American flair and he's shot wildly from distance. Guerrero. Short project Carrasco. Carrasco to company. Company Cancelo on the right. 
Man City keeping the ball well, but Barman's stolen it. We're playing much better in this second half. As Ancela brings it forward. Out to Palsic. Palsic ah, he's good block there from Otamendi from the long-range shot. Trigovsky will chuck this in. Pings it into the box. The Cax can't get on the end of it. Lopez picks up the rebound. It's Williams. Oh, and he's fired it wide. I saw the headlines. I saw it nestling in the bottom corner, but Lopez swings it in. Barman. Williams is there again. Sellers and Sellers got a goal. Can you believe it? It's 2 2 in the 88th minute against Man City. This is a superb result if we can hold on. Lopez swings in the corner with Christoph Barman. It fell to Williams. I thought he was going to bang it. Good tackle from Aguero. Oh, and the shot nestles in the bottom corner. The local lad, Dan Sellar. Unbelievable stuff. What a second half we've, performance we've put in here. Carrasco. Vincent Company heads over the bar. That will surely be it. And it is 2 2. What a performance. What a performance. That is unbelievable. Great comeback. I mean, Laporte getting sent off was the game changer. It puts us in a really good position in the group now because our next game, I think, is Fiorentina. I'll have a look in a sec. And we are going to do it right here, right now, to see if we can get a strong position to at least go back into the Europa League. I know it's Zenit, so it puts us, because Fiorentina will more than likely lose to Man City. So if we beat Zenit, we're in a really strong position to possibly finish second. So I'll do the press conferences and I'll see you at the Zenit game. And my God, I've got to stop smiling. Hello everybody and welcome back. Obviously that would be like an instant for you, but I've played some other games. Let's see how we got on. We beat NK Zavadec 2-1 and then we beat Selish 3-1. Both very good. Uh, Seller and Barman getting the goals against Zavlec and Zahovic getting a brace. Trzovski getting sent off and then Barman getting a 91st minute, you know, deciding winning goal. Even though it wasn't the decider or the winner. But you know what I mean. I can't think of the word. Anyway, since then, Zahovic has come a moaning and said, if Fenerbahce make a bid, I want to go. So, yeah, he's probably going to go. Because I sort of didn't want him kicking off. So I sort of promised him that I'd accept a bid. Obviously I'm not going to. And he's going to hate me more for breaking the promise. But yeah, I don't really want to sell him. I've got my scouts out looking in various places around the world for a striker to replace him. I mean, Zan Selar could easily step up and Frank Lopez is on loan. We could look to get him in full time, I guess. He's a very good striker. So I might actually have a look at that in a minute. But we have got Zenit St. Petersburg, and this is how it looks in the group. If we win this game, we'll go above them. So it will put us in a really good position because then we're playing Fiorentina. Second or third in the group is still very much on. I'm going to pick the team, and I'll see you at the game day. Okay, welcome back. We go back to our original formation, Schmeichel in goal. Palsic at right back. Takax has to drop the centre-back because not only is Klemcic injured with a serious injury. Kencic, or whatever his name is, is uh, also injured because he also got injured playing for Slovenia. So thank you very much, Slovenian national team. Janza's at left back. Vahovec sits in holding midfield. Barman and Dak is the midfield too. Sinta Sao on the right. Bade on the left. And Zahovic up front. On the bench, Zancela, Lopez, Williams, Carlos Gil, Tragovsky, Richards and Jaskopo Jaz Jaskovic. Why do I keep calling him Jaskopovic? Jaskovic. They stick with the 4-2-1-3 formation that got them that we drew with last time. So I'll have to see how this works out. Gone for our normal formation. We're not going defensive. I want to take the game to them. We are at home. And I think we can get a good result here. And if we do, as I said before, it will put us in a very, very good position to either get out of the group or finish third and get the Europa League spot. So, I mean, if we end up selling Zahovic, that is going to be a massive loss in our squad. And... If we don't qualify for the Champions League, then that could be a sort of blessing in disguise. But we'll see how it goes. Not qualify for the Champions League, you know what I mean? Get out of this group um, because we'll be lacking a striker, obviously. Dak had a go from range, but it's blocked. And here comes Zenit on a counter attack. And they are chucking men forward. So I hope has a head injury, so he can stay on with that. If it's not concussion, you can stay on. Dak, Janza, good save from Lob Ledoigin in goal for Zenit. Sinter Sal, ball in, Carriage is there and the Doigan makes another good save from Carriage's header. Um, I've also done a bit of looking into why Sven Carriage picks up poor ratings in games in the Champions League and it's because he doesn't like playing in big games, he's not a big game player. So when we play teams like Zenit, Fiorentina and City, they're obviously all bigger games for us and he's got that stat, oh my god there's a massive mix up and... 
The shot has just gone wide, bloody hell. Schmeichel came steaming out of his goal, hit the defender, and the ball bounced to the right winger, and Dak has fired a free kick over. And I'll finish a story in a minute about Sven Karic. He doesn't like playing in big games, basically. So when he's got a mark, a really big reputation player, he goes into his shell and gets all crap. And I don't know if there's a way that you can train that trait out of someone. So if you do know, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, question time for today's game. With us doing pretty well in the Champions League this year, I'd like you to let me know what position you think I should strengthen in the squad. So... Obviously, Schmeichel's only on loan, and quite a lot depends on him possibly moving full-time. But where do you think we need to strengthen? Now, I went through the squad at the end of last season. The squad's pretty much exactly the same. Only a few new youngsters and Schmeichel have really come in. But let me know where you think I need to strengthen next year. But as we kick off the second half, we've been pretty much in charge. Vahovic's given away a sloppy free kick. We've had a bit more possession, more shots. Definitely more shots. They've only had one shot on target. So, and Bradley Dack has made a great challenge in there. Good ball up the line to Bade. Infield to Barman. He's looking for Zahovic to make a run. And Sinter Sal's picked it up. Back into Dade. Bade. Zahovic, he's there. Oh, good save from Ladogin again. He's keeping a minute, their goalkeeper at the moment. Sinter Sal with the ball in. It's poor. And Smolikov clicks it away at the near post. Jans is there. Zahovic. Back to Pausic. Barman. Zahovic. Turns his man. Can he get a good cross in? He Picking it back to the area where Barnes Dak's there and he's fired over. And again, it's creating the chances we just can't put him in. Bade and Zahovic brings it forward. Zahovic onto the edge of the box, look to curl it into the top corner, but again, Lodoygin, I think his name is, makes a good save for Zenit. Fiorentina are losing to Man City, so it does give us a little bit of space, and they're our last game in the group, which I guess, if it stays like this, we're going to have to do as a live com. And Shatov is in, he squares it, and it's there. Great save. No, he's hit the post. Bloody hell. Pausic picks it up to Kax. Vahovec. His pass was blocked, but Barman's picked it up into Lopez. Sinter Sal. Pausic, poor header, and Shatov picks it up. But where's he going with that? It's still, this highlight continues. Yanza, Williams, Bade. Good ball into Barman. Barman with a bit of a P-roller. Easy save for Ledoigan. So Lopez now playing as a false nine will drop a little bit deeper, hopefully giving Sinta Sao and Bade a chance to penetrate in behind. That's what she said. Lopez, oh, it's deflected and it's in, and that is what we needed. 20 minutes to go, a 20-yard screamer that was massively deflected. So here we go, Lopez hits the free kick. I think it hits the man on the first, hits the captain in the middle. Keeper's got absolutely no chance, and that puts us in a very good position to get second place in this group. And... Do I shut it down or do we go for another? Because it is Zenit. It's not Man City. Bade. Williams is on the edge. Shot is blocked. Vahovec into Bade. It's cleared and Carrick just plays the safety and heads it out for a throw. Oh God, we've got another centre-back injury. But now you can see Takax is up here walking. And he's come back on, I think, now. Sindersal, ball in, headed away. Lopez will easily pick up the rebound. Into Barman. Takax. Where's he going with it? Don't get... Okay, he's got a foul. It's all right. Pausic just crosses block Barman into Sinter Sal is tackled and here come Zenit on a counter attack and Yuzopov Schmeichel makes a save but he couldn't hold on to it and Takax was there to clear and I think the fact that our fitness is getting tired and we've picked up some injuries it's really affecting us Lopez what can he do lovely ball out to Yanza his cross is blocked and again Zenit can try and hit us on the counter and she pop into Giuliano all the way back to Mamana. We've got men back very well there. Karic wins the header. Mamana plicks it out. Smolokhanov. Yavi Garcia. Neto. They're throwing men forward here. Is it going to pay off? It's not. It's off the line from Pausic. Schmeichel made the save. And I think I need to start to go a bit more defensive. We'll see how this highlight plays out. Neto. Mamana. Zayev. De Zumbio. I should have gone more defensive earlier on. Which means I'm not going to change anything now. It's 1-1 one, one, as we see the highlight, the replay, sorry. So they have literally chucked men forward and we left too many men up the pitch. De Zumbia, the captain, after getting the deflected own goal. Carlos Hill is going to come on for Sintas out. And I might regret that. But we've got so many defensive problems already. Good save from Schmeichel there from Giuliano. Out to Bade. Bade is tackled and Dozumba brings it away. Giuliano's a man over it, Shatov, and it's 2-1 to Zenit St. Petersburg. Zumba there to Giuliano, Giuliano to Shatov, and it's gone. 
for a game that was looking like it was going so well we're still in prime position for that third place but we really didn't want to lose this game Williams his ball was intercepted he was looking for Palsic and Cam oh Zenit nearly made it three our overall fitness and the injuries we've picked up haven't helped obviously come on we just need one chance to fall to Lopez that's all it is again it's a poor pass our passing has really let us down in this game we're letting ourselves down. I think that's going to be it. It is. We lose 2-1 to Zenit after being on that massive high against Man City. That is disappointing. We still haven't won a game. Hopefully we can beat Fiorentina. Well, at least we know all we've got to do is draw against Fiorentina and we'll be going through. Thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure, as always. And let's hope we can get a draw against Fiorentina, which will be the next episode. And I'll chat to you guys in a bit. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you're new. And hello to, again, to all those new subscribers we've got. I will speak to you in a bit. I'm out. Cheers.